Dragon Ball starts holding tight to thigh. 18. Chapter 91. Gohan still couldn't believe the Majin Buu who died so easily. How to say that he is also a monster who almost destroyed the entire universe? How could it have been wiped out so easily? But Majin Buu's head is gone, who can live without a normal head? Even the nemesis can't do it, right? To be conservative. Gohan decides to destroy his body as well. Just as Gohan was about to get started, a terrifying scene appeared. I saw that the headless demon Buu actually moved. He lifted his hands and touched them on his shoulders for a moment. Immediately after, a whole new head appeared out of thin air. What kind of monster is this? Can't die like this? Gohan was so shocked that his eyes were about to fall. Can't you ght to death like this? Is this what the realm king god Asant said? The characteristics of Majin Buu who cannot die? No wonder he didn't want Bik to kill Babidi. This ability is indeed terrifying. Woo boom boom. Majin Buu, who recovered his head, raised his hands and shouted loudly. After a moment, he looked at Goen. Beep, beep, there. Paws on Majin Buu's head and arms spewed out a large amount of steam, emitting a shrill whistle. Next, it's my turn. Go and immediately felt that the situation was not good. The magic light killing cannon just now had almost consumed the power in his body. He doesn't have much combat power now. What's more? There is another hand that has long been crippled by the demon Buu. In this case, if he ghts hard, there is only one way to die. Escape. But the slightest hesitation is disrespectful to Majin Buu. Go and you straight up and ed away. Majin Buu saw Go and escape, and did not rush to catch up. He was unhurried and did a set of warm-up exercises in place. After delaying for tens of seconds, Majin Buu slammed to the ground. Boom. The whole person knew out like a rocket launched. In just a dozen seconds. Go and sensed a powerful aura approaching him. Abominable. A little faster. Go and frantically squeezed the power in his body, just to make himself faster. However, at this moment, the loss of strength in his body was serious, and even if he squeezed and pressed, he could not squeeze out much strength. Majin Buu suddenly appeared and stood in front of Goen, also very mischievously sticking out his tongue, like a child who wants to be scared. Slightly. If it were normal, maybe Goen would think he looks cute like this. But now, Goen is only Terry Ed. A biting chill came from the spine. Hey. Hey, hey Tilda, go and die. Majin Buu smiled and said terrible words. Then, his yellow gloved slap slammed at Goen. It's like swatting a Y. Fast, accurate, ruthless. Majin Buu's speed is so fast that Goen can't dodge this attack at all. Snap, boom. Goen, who was hit by Majin Buu, was like a plane crash, smashing to the ground with terrifying power. The originally hard ground was like a piece of tofu at this time, and Goen smashed out a huge pit. Goen, who has exhausted his strength can no longer maintain his super saiyan state. The golden aura extinguished and the hair turned back to black. Majin Buu slowly descends next to Goen. What little snack do I want to turn you into? Little cookies, chocolate, or milk candy? Majin Buu's chubby face showed a tangled expression, and he was a little distressed because he wanted to eat all of this. But now there is only one person, and only a small snack can be conjured. Alas, life is not easy. Buu sighed. Forget it, just turn you into a cookie, and then go and eat other humans later. After thinking for a while, Majin Buu still chose his favorite small cookie, because Bibidi said that cookies are the best thing in the world. Although he hated Bibidi as a person, the cookies were indeed delicious. After making up his mind, the tentacles on Majin Buu's head began to glow. Are you going to die? Go and was lying on the ground, without a trace of strength in his body. His whole body was covered with large and small injuries, and the strength in his body had been exhausted. Now he can only watch Majin Buu turn himself into cookies and eat them. Woo Boom Tilda. Majin Buu seemed to think that he would be able to eat cookies soon, and laughed happily. At the same time, the tentacles on his head emitted a lightning bolt of light. Goen saw this light and closed his eyes in resignation. Goen, are you okay? Suddenly, a familiar voice sounded in his ears. It's Daddy's voice. Goen opened his eyes and saw Goku standing next to him with a man in his arms. Goku places Vegeta on the ground and helps Goen to make it. Sorry, I'm late. Goen almost burst into tears. He thought he was dead. Unexpectedly, Dad arrived in time at the last moment. Even if it was another second at night, he would not survive. Dad, it's okay, I'll do the rest. Goku patted Goen on the shoulder. Go and reminded, Dad, you have to be careful, his recovery ability is very terrible. I just knocked his head out, he can still recover. I know. Goku nodded, then his face sank and he turned to face Majin Buu. Seeing the injuries on Goen's body, as a father, Goku was furious. Abominable fellow, I'm going to turn you into little cookies. The small biscuit in hand your way and Majin Buu suddenly smoked in anger. Open his eyes and stare at Goku viciously. Majin Buu pinched his stomach a few times, and then in Goku's surprised eyes, he pulled a lump of meat from his stomach. Then he elongated the mass of meat like Raymon. Then hold the end of the meat strip in your hand and spin it up quickly. The meat strips rotated like propellers in his hands, and countless air bombs shot out from there. Meat strips. The dense air bombs instantly enveloped Goku. Drink! Exclamation mark. Goku roared angrily, and instantly turned into a Super 3 form. 
the terrifying aura formed a strong wind pressure around him. In an instant, all the bombs were ejected. The boom bounced off the gas bombs scattered and fell around, and suddenly, the nearby area was shrouded in explosions. Fortunately, this neighborhood is a mountain outskirts and there are no people. If it is in a city, this one stroke is enough to destroy half a city. See that air bomb attacks are ineffective. Majin Buu directly threw the strip of meat in his hand towards Goku. Goku raised his hand, and an air bomb shot out of his hand and bombarded the meat strip. Majin Buu smiled a little sinisterly when he saw Goku attacking his strips of meat with air bombs. But when Goku hit the meat strip, he was stunned because he found out that his strips of meat were dead. Under normal circumstances, his cells are immortal, and even if they are scattered, they can recover from new gatherings. But now he couldn't sense the cells on his strips. This also means that his cells were destroyed by the man in front of him. Majin Buu was stunned, but Goku didn't. Goku rushed to Majin Buu with an arrow. R. H. Goku's STS and feet turned into deadly weapons, and slammed into Majin Buu like a storm. The gap in strength is too great, and Majin Buu can't dodge Goku's attack at all. The whole person was like a rag, beaten by Goku to the ground. The most frightening thing for him, every punch and kick from Goku made him feel severe pain. He had never felt that way. Moreover, in Goku's STS and feet, there is also a terrifying energy that invades his body, inhibiting the resilience of the cells in his body. Boom. Goku kicked Buu to the ground and put his hands on his waist. Between the two palms, a blue ball of light slowly grew larger, releasing a dazzling light. Turtle Pike High Gong Wave. Imagine Buu was lying in the giant pit. His eyes were already open to the maximum. He was so badly injured that his whole body could not move, and his cell's ability to recover was suppressed. He. There is no escape. Kaigong waves like a huge stream of water rushed down. Majin Buu felt his body collapse little by little, and his consciousness gradually dissipated. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 92. Find it find find me tilde. Find a big dinosaur salute. Shake hands tilde it wants to invite me to eat meat tilde I'm in the woods picked up a dinosaur. Tilda handed him over to my pigeon side. Tilda the pigeon took the dragon and nodded his head to me Tilda. I said happily, the pigeon is fast roasting, the pigeon is fast roasting there. Crisp and immature childlike voice echoed in the forest. The white-haired little lily wearing a small cream yellow skirt walked with two fifty eighty thousand steps, happily humming the song she had adapted. She also dragged a huge dinosaur that was a hundred times larger than her. When she thought of her brother roasting meat for herself, Kinyin was very happy and the little tail behind her couldn't help but spin. The bird on the tree next to him was secretly glad in a cold sweat. Fortunately he was small, otherwise if he was as big as this dinosaur brother, he would nightly be caught by the little witch and roasted. Huh? What is that? Not far away, a cloud of pink bulged out of a grass. The attractive color looks delicious at our SD glance. Kinyin's round eyes stared closely, and her eyes were full of longing. Judging by her years of experience eating meat, this should be a piece of meat and it is delicious meat. However, this is the RST time I have seen this kind of meat. Wouldn't it be a rare animal? If it's a rare animal, you can't eat it. Because her uncle Appius had instructed that rare animals could not be eaten, and they had to be brought back to be handed over to their uncle. Alas Tilda, Kinyan sighed regretfully. Between food and uncle, she nearly chose her uncle. After all, her uncle was kind to her and often gave her good food. Gently put down the dinosaur tail in his hand, Kinyan tiptoed, afraid to make a little movement carefully walked towards this piece of meat. When he walked only a few meters away, Kinyin suddenly jumped up, you over, and hugged the piece of meat. Yay, caught it. Holding the meat as elastic as jelly, Kinyin could already imagine how delicious this piece of meat could be. Let Kin can see what kind of animal it is. Kinyin's small body contains in night power. Without much effort, she dragged the creature, which looked several times larger than her, out of the tall grass. Oops. It's a personal. If Goku and the others are here, they can end out that this person is Majin Buu. Originally, when Majin Buu was hit by the Wukong Turtle Kaigong wave and was about to be destroyed, at that critical moment of life and death, he used Jebit's teleportation to teleport here. However, because the recovery ability of cells in his body was suppressed by Goku's chi, their injuries on his body could not be recovered. Goku fuses Genki, so he can suppress Buu's recovery ability. Although it seems that there is no injury on the surface, most of the cells in his body have been destroyed, and he is close to death. Even his consciousness fell into a coma. Wake up wake up quickly. Kinyin shook Buu a few times, but Buu didn't mean anything sober. If it weren't for the fact that Buu's body was still warm and he was still breathing slightly, Kinyin would have thought that he was dead. Could it be an injury? Thinking of this possibility, a cloud of green energy appeared in Kinyin's hand. Its willpower. The power entered Buu's body under the control of Kinyin. Sure enough, there was a powerful chi raging in Buu's body, but this breath seems a little familiar. In a hurry. Kinyin didn't think much about it, and Shay urged her willingness to expel this chi. It's just that she is still too weak, and her wish power is not enough, and she only expelled a small part to consume the wish power in her body. However, 
This also allowed Buu to regain a little consciousness. In the chaos, Buu's eyes opened a tiny slit. He saw a cute little girl with white hair. This little girl put her hands on him, and a warm current owed from her hands into his body. The chi that was raging in his body was expelled little by little by this warm current. Buu felt that the cells in his body were slowly rejuvenating. But this little girl looked more and more tired, and her cute face was covered with dense beads of sweat. At this moment, Buu's mood was mixed. An inexplicable emotion was born from his heart. After a while, Buu felt that the warm current began to decrease, and the little girl had begun to gasp. After another while, the little girl was exhausted and slumped on the ground. After losing his willpower, Goku's chi began to rage in Buu's body again. Buu's consciousness fell into a coma again. Let's send e a pigeon to help. After resting for a while, Qin Yin regained some strength. Then she dragged the dinosaur with one hand and Buu with the other, and slowly left. Equals, 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 pigeon, pigeon. In a clearing next to the waterfall in the woods. Tanlin is making barbecue seasonings. Inheriting his parents' excellent genes, Tanlin, who is only six years old, can already cook some dishes, and what he is best at is barbecue. Because when he is at home, it is not his turn to cook. In addition to the teaching of his parents, his barbecue technique is more because he and his sister often open a small stove to hone it little by little. It's not that the family can't eat enough, the main thing is that Kainian, this little guy is particularly prone to gluttony. As a good brother who loves his younger sister, Tanlin naturally wants to satisfy his sister's appetite. Hearing Kinyin's eager shout, Tanlin quickly put down the things in his hand. What's wrong with Kinkin? What happened? Pigeon, this man seems to be dying, let's save him. Only then did Tanlin and D the pink-skinned man lying next to Kinyin. Knowing that it was not his sister who had an accident, Tanlin suddenly breathed a sigh of relief. Who is he? Kinyin opened a pair of innocent big eyes, Kinkin doesn't know. Kinkin picked him up in their woods. Tanlin checked the situation in Buu's body. Huh? This is Uncle Goku's gas. When Tanlin is a little older, he often cultivates with Mo Yuan, so he is still familiar with Wukong's chi. Because a group of them don't know how important their cultivation is, Kinyin's cultivation is taught by Mo Yuan and lazily alone, not with Wukong and them. So much so that Kinyin did not recognize Goku's chi for a while. Tanlin looked at Kinyin and asked seriously, Kin Kin. This person was injured by Uncle Wukong. Do we want to save him? Huh? It was actually injured by Uncle Goku. No wonder. Kinkin felt that this chi was so familiar. Hearing his brother say that this person was injured by Uncle Wukong, Kinyin began to hesitate. She believes that Uncle Goku will not hurt people for no reason. But this man is almost dead. If he doesn't treat it, it may not be long before he dies. Tanlin stood quietly by the side, waiting for Kinyin to make a choice. No matter what choice Kinyin makes. Tanlin will support her for no reason. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 93, Save. Kinyin said unusually. After thinking about it for a long time, she still couldn't bear to watch a life pass in front of her. And this person doesn't seem to be some bad person. How can you be a bad guy if you look so cute? Even if it's a bad person, it's a big deal that she will undo her further to solve it. Hum, her dad is awesome. Kinyin thought of her father and almost crossed her waist with pride. Okay, let's get started. He won't last long. Without further ado, after receiving his sister's affirmative answer, Tanlin began to prepare to save people. The two little guys, one left and one right, instilled the willpower into Buu's body at the same time. However, Goku's chi is still too strong. The two of them almost exhausted the willpower in their bodies, and only partially expelled it. Although he did not completely expel Goku's chi, Buu's fate was saved. In addition to expelling a part of Goku's chi, Tanlin and Kinyin also repaired some of the cells in Buu's body. Buu gradually regained his lucidity. He felt that the power that Goku had left in his body had been reduced by a FTH, and the body has also recovered somewhat. Although his cell's ability to recover was still suppressed, his injuries were no longer life-threatening. Buu heard two shallow breaths in his ears. When he opened his eyes, he saw two small children lying on his left and right. A little boy with blonde hair, and a little girl with white hair. See this little girl. Buu's mind ashed several pictures like a movie. It's her. Combined with the images in his head, Buu knew that they had saved him. From the exhaustion on the faces of these two children, it can be seen that they have expended a lot of energy to save themselves. But they had joyful smiles on their faces. Buu braced himself on the ground with his hands and tried to get up from the ground. But before he could stand RM, his feet began to go soft. Boom. Buu's heavy body suddenly fell to the ground. Tanlin and Kin Yin were also awakened by this movement. Yay, you're awake. Kin Yin saw Buu sitting on the ground and ran next to him in surprise. A sense of pride is born. This is the RST time she has saved someone. Thank you for saving me. Treating his lifesaver. Buu seemed unusually polite. You're welcome. Kin Yin waved her hand without care, and then said, By the way, my name is Mo Kin Yin. You can call me Kin Kin. My family and friends call me that. Then he pointed to Tanlin and introduced, This is my pigeon. Tanlin nodded slightly at Buu. Hello. My name is Mo Tanlin, you can call Tanlin. Hello, my name is Buu, thank you for saving me, 
you will be my friends in the future. Biu smiled like a child. Seems to be happy that he has two good friends. By the way, Biu, why did you get hurt by Uncle Goku? Kinyan is very puzzled. Such a Biu doesn't look like a bad person at all. Why did Uncle Goku hurt him? Could it be that he was accidentally injured? Goku, who is Goku? Biu tilted his head, unable to gear out who Goku was. Kinyan explained, it was the one who injured you. So he's Goku. Biu suddenly realized. Kinyan continued to ask, so why did Uncle Wukong beat you? I remember I was playing a game, and then he suddenly appeared and beat me up, and fortunately I ran away with teleportation, otherwise he would have killed me. Kinyan and Tanlin were stunned. How can Uncle Goku be like this? People play a game and beat people like this? Tanlin felt that Goku was denightly not this kind of person, so he asked, What game are you playing? Biu looked innocent, it's killing people, turning people into small snacks and eating them. What? Biu's words frightened both of them. Tanlin pulled Kinyan behind him. Look at Biu warily, no killing. Kinyan, who had returned to God, ran to Biu from behind Tanlin and shouted loudly. She was taught by her father from an early age. Practicing martial arts is not for wanton behavior, but to protect your important people. She has always remembered this sentence in her heart. But Biu said the killing was to play games. How could she endure this? Biu tilted his head, a little puzzled, but Bibidi said that this is called playing games, which is very fun. Who is Bibidi? Bibidi is the nasty person who created me. Looking at Biu's innocent look, Kinyan and Tanlin probably knew what was going on. Biu is equivalent to a blank piece of paper. And Bibidi was the one who blacked out this blank piece of paper. Then why would you listen to someone you hate? My father told me from a young age that it is wrong to kill people casually, and that power is not used to do evil, but to protect their important people. Kin Yin was like a serious little teacher, trying to correct Biu's thoughts. Biu lowered his head and pondered for a moment. So... You think it's wrong for me to do this? Kinyan and Tanlin both had serious expressions, lowered their heads heavily, and said in unison, That's right. Biu stared at these two serious little faces, and then said with a smile, Okay, then I won't do this in the future. Kinyan stretched out her little ninja, pull the hook. Biu, colon. And that's it. Kinyan demonstrated it to Biu with both hands. Biu understood at once, so he took off his gloves, revealing ninjas. Hang yourself on the hook for a lifetime. Don't change. Stamp. Two thumbs one big and one small, are covered together. Say well, you can't kill people casually in the future. The trick is a piglet. After the seal, Kinyan smiled very happily. In her heart, the seal is the highest commitment. It doesn't get much more trustworthy than this. Biu nodded very vigorously. King Kin, Tanlin, I'm hungry. Biu touched his big belly, I want to eat small cookies. Hearing Biu's words, Kinyan suddenly remembered what she was here for today. I suddenly felt an emptiness in my stomach. Holding his stomach, he looked at Tanlin weakly and coquettishly said, Pigeon Kinkin is hungry. Okay, okay, I'll make you a barbecue. Tanlin touched Kinyan's head doubtingly. No cookies? Biu is obsessed with cookies because Bibidi says it's the best thing in the world. What is a cookie? The roast made by pigeons is the second best in the world. Kinyan said to Biu with pride on her face. Tanlin, why the second? Because daddy's barbecue is the best. Tanlin thought about the barbecue made by his father. Well, it's really tastier than what he made. Biu, next time Kinkin invites you to eat the barbecue made by your father the kind that is so delicious that you even swallow your tongue. Kinyan proudly patted Biu's big belly. Duang duang duang. QQ bomb, all of a sudden addictive. Okay, don't say it, come and eat the barbecue. Unconsciously, Tanlin had already grilled some meat. Three people who consume a lot of energy sit together. One person held a large strip of ash and bone in his hand. Delicious, better than cookies. Tanlin, I still want to eat. Pigeon, I also want to eat. Tanlin, it seems that this dinosaur may not be enough to eat today. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 94 Hiccup Tilda Kinyan lay on the grass, touched her slightly swollen little belly, and burped happily. Hiccup Tilda Tanlin, who was also lying on the grass, burped louder and longer. A little proud. King Kin. I burp longer than you. I don't know what to be proud of. But he managed to arouse Kinyin's competitive spirit. Hiccup Tilda. H-M-P-H. Stinky Pigeon. I'm the longest. Hiccup Tilda. Tilda he he. I can go longer. Dot. Biu on the side looked at the two brothers and sisters thoughtfully. Take a sudden sharp breath. Then open your mouth wide. Hiccup Tilda. Tilda a huge hiccup sound like a thunderous roar resounded through the heavens and earth. The sound was so loud that the ground trembled slightly. Woo woo boom Tilda. After hiccuping. Biu laughed happily. Faced with such a shocking burp, Tanlin and Kinyan admitted defeat one after another. Tanlin also gave Biu the highest affirmation, count you powerful. As a result, this nonsensical contest was nearly won by Biu by an absolute advantage. After eating a full meal, the wishes of Tanlin and Kinyan were basically restored. The two treated Biu again. After this treatment, only half of the chi remaining in Biu's body remained in Igoku's body. Biu's injuries have also fully recovered. It's just that the cell recovery ability is still inhibited and there is no way to recover the injury. Casually as before. Let's go, let's go to the city. After the treatment, 
Tan Lin saw that it was still early, so he suggested. Yay, hearing that he was going to play, Kin Yin jumped up from the ground. Go, Biu, I'll take you to snacks, milk tea, ice cream. Is it delicious? It's as delicious as grilled meat. Then let's go, I'm hungry. Hearing that there was something delicious, Biu suddenly couldn't bear it. Took off directly in place and you out. Wait Biu, you're ying in the wrong direction, it's over here. Dot. Equals, 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 this, this, this. In the ice cream parlor, Kin Yin's little hands point at the menu. Suddenly, she saw Biu next to her with saliva dripping from his mouth. Thinking of Guo's terrifying meal. Ah, forget it, let's go through all the types RST. Soon, a whole bunch of ice cream was piled up all over the table. In addition to ice cream, there are desserts like cakes. Biu picked up an ice cream and licked it with his tongue. The cold and delicate taste. The wonderful taste of fruit and milk mixed instantly bloomed in his taste buds. Biu's small eyes narrowed into a slit suddenly enlarged, and two stars twinkled in his eyes. Delicious. Biu opened his mouth wide and put the whole ice cream directly into his mouth. Seeing that Biu was eating happily, Kin Yin was also proud. Well, Kin Kin didn't lie to you, did he? Ah, uh, Biu crazily stuffed the ice cream into his mouth. It's better than the little cookies I used to eat, Mrs. Much. Biu feels so happy now, since he was conscious. He has not been as happy as he is today. Bibidi also lied to him that cookies are the most delicious thing in the world. But after eating cookies on earth, Biu found out. There is also a huge difference between cookies and cookies. The cookies he used to eat were no different from nibbling wood. The cookies on the earth, eating them made him want to cry. It's really delicious, oh oh. And, in addition to cookies, there are many, many delicious things. Compared with Kinya and Tanlin, Bibidi is simply not a person. Let him kill everywhere, and don't give him good food. In contrast, Kinyin and Tanlin are angels. Heal his wounds and bring him so much good food. He vowed to protect Kinyin and Tanlin from being harmed. Equals, 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 said a pedestrian street. A good looking girl with two pigtails walked with a handsome boy who looked a little shy. Goen, how about we go for ice cream? The weather was already relatively hot, and this was the RSD date after the two con their relationship, and Baidili couldn't help but feel a little shy and hot. These two are none other than Goen and Baidili. Since Satan is no longer the savior, Naturally there cannot be a city named after him, but as a well-known boxer, he is also not short of money, for the sake of their daughter's education. They also moved to the big city of Ksidu, and Baidili happens to enter the same school as Goen. Not only are the two in the same class, but they are also at the same table. Educated by Satan since childhood, Baidili also has a strong interest in martial arts. After accidentally learning that Goen is the famous golden warrior, he pestered Goen to teach her martial arts. The two were slowly attracted to each other in the process of practicing martial arts. And a few days ago, Baidili Nully couldn't help but confess to Goen. Then the two naturally got together. Well, okay, let's go get ice cream. Goen, who is on a RST time date, is more nervous than Baidiri. And Baidiri still held his arm. He now felt like his arms were surrounded by cotton, and the feeling was too exciting for him. A pure child. It's inevitable that there will be some ape. Walk to the door of the ice cream parlor. Through the vitrine, Goen sees the big fat pink man inside. This face he is afraid he will never forget in this life. How? How can it be? Wasn't he wiped out by his father the day before yesterday? Go and was extremely panicked. If Biu messed around here, I was afraid that the entire West would be destroyed by him. And now Goku, Vegeta, and Lapius have all gone to other star elds to practice. No one can stop imagine Biu. Although he was seriously injured by Biu last time, his combat effectiveness has increased a little after recovery, and the norm has reached 20 billion. But with his current combat power of 2 trillion alone, he is at most equal to Biu, and the most terrifying thing about Biu is his ability to almost die. He didn't integrate the vitality into his body like Goku, and there was no way to cause damage to Biu. What scared Goen even more, aren't the two children sitting next to Biu the same as Uncle Mo Yuan's children? Now that Uncle Mo Yuan is cultivating in other places, if something happens to his two children in front of him, then how can he be worthy of Uncle Mo Yuan? What's more, Tan Lin and Kin Yin Goen have always regarded them as their younger siblings. For whatever reason, he couldn't watch something happen to them. No, I must get them out. But, what should I do? Goen, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Baidili noticed Goen standing in front of the ice cream parlor, her face becoming very ugly, as if she was not feeling very well. Brother Goen, Tan Lin, who had a keen sense of hearing, suddenly heard someone calling Goen, and subconsciously looked over through the vitrine, he saw Goen standing in the doorway. For a time, Tan Lin, Kain Yin, and Biu, three pairs of eyes brushed together to look at Goen. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 95. Goen's heart suddenly tightened, and his pupils shrank to the size of a needle's eye. Shoving by Dilly away, he shouted in panic, Run, it's dangerous here. Goen instantly transforms into Super Saiyan 2. The blonde hair stood on end, the thunder and lightning were entangled, the originally soft facial features became sharp, 
and the cold eyes stared at you. Kinkin, Tanlin, you two go quickly, I'll stop this monster. By Dilly, who was pushed aside, looked at Goen in the Super 2 form obsessively, not knowing what came to mind, her face was slightly red, so handsome Tilda. Brother Goen, don't be impulsive, listen to me RST. Tenrin quickly ran over to stop Goen. Kinyan stood in front of Buu. Dot. So you mean, Buu is actually a good guy? Under the strong dissuasion of Kinyan and Tanlin, the of them began an in-depth meeting. Kinyan and Tanlin nodded again and again like chickens pecking rice. Yes, yes, he was just tricked into thinking that killing was playing a game, and now he knows that he is wrong and promises that we will not kill again. Ah, uh, Pigeon is right, Buu has promised not to kill, and he has hooked with Kinkin. Kinyan is very RM in Buu's promise. At this time, Buu walked up to Goen and bowed solemnly, with a very sincere attitude. I'm sorry. Although Buu doesn't have the ability to recover now, his combat power is still there. Even if he GHTS with Goen, it will be half a pound and eight deals at most. Even his ability to surprise, go and may be devoured by him if he doesn't pay attention. However, in order not to embarrass Kinyin and Tanlin, he still decided to ease the relationship with Goen. After all, it was indeed he who almost killed Go and the other day. If you calculate it, it is indeed his fault RST. Buu's move made Go and Go all the way. I didn't know what to do for a while. And Buu also seems to be sincere, as if he is serious. Moreover, Buu has been following Kinyin and Tanlin for a day to day, and if he follows Buu's character when he was just resurrected, he will deny not let them go. In fact, when Go and RST met Buu, he also felt like a child. But then he almost died at the hands of Buu. Go and wanted to believe that Buu was getting better, but he just wasn't at ease. Don't worry about letting Kinyin and Tanlin stay by Buu's side. As the eldest brother of this generation, he has the responsibility to keep his younger siblings safe. But, Goen stole a glance at Baidili next to him. Baidili noticed Goen's eyes and gave him a gentle smile. Today is his RST date with Baidili. Goen didn't want their RST date to be ruined like that. That's right. Goen snapped and hammered his right hand in the palm of his left hand. Suddenly, there was a rash of light. Find Aunt Lazily. Although Lazily rarely cultivates with them, Goen also knows that hugging power is very strong. Even his father's son Igoku may not be able to GHT. And that's exactly what happened. Lazily has not put down her cultivation in recent years, and her combat power has reached 20 billion. He also combined with Mo Yuan and the two of them to create a set of exercises suitable for their increase of space energy combat effectiveness. The principle of unbounded and unbounded is to open up a space in the body, which is usually used to store energy, and when needed, you can pour energy into your body to increase your combat effectiveness. However, if it is forcibly instilled, it requires a strong physique to withstand it, and Lazily's current physique can only withstand a 100-fold increase, and exceeding this threshold will cause great damage to the body, and it cannot last. However, in addition to increasing the amplitude, this exercise can also be used as a supplementary energy equivalent to a blue buff. In a sense, it is also an unlimited energy source. Mo Yuan can naturally use this move, but he uses this move as a blue buff, after all. The pressure on his own transformation is much lower than using this move. There is absolutely no need to throw watermelon and pick up sesame. However, this trick can be superimposed on the transformation in an emergency, and used as a killer tool. Dot. After making up his mind, Go and immediately took out his cell phone and dialed his mother's number. Because when he went out in the morning, Go and heard his mother say that he was going to go to beauty with Lazily and Bummer today. Since they all live in Xida now, and they are both rich women, the three of them will make an appointment to go shopping together when they have time. It's like a little sister. Soon the call was connected. Goen, Moses Moses, Mum, Kiki, colon Goen, can I help you? Did the date go well today? Is it because there is not enough money? Mum, transfer some money to you. Since her family no longer has to worry about money, Kiki's whole person is much more relaxed, and her mentality is younger than seven years ago. Kiki really, I cried to death, although the dog is very good, but he owes Kiki too much. I don't care about anything else. Anyway, in my novel, I just want Kiki to be a happy little rich woman. Oh, oh, yes. Go and hurriedly said, no need, I still have enough money. This call is to end the aunt lazily. Go in. It's about Kinkin and Tanlin. On the other side, inside the beauty salon, lazily is lying on the bed next to Kiki, enjoying a massage from a female technician with a mask on. Suddenly, Goen is heard calling about her son's daughter. Lazily thought for a moment and said, I'll go over and take a look now. After searching for the spatial imprint left on the child, a teleportation passed. After a burst of air distortion, Lazily appeared in the ice cream parlor with a mask on her face. Mum, X2. Kinyan and Tanlin saw Lazily appear, and immediately hugged Lazily's hands one left and one right like two small pendants. Mum, let me introduce you. This is our new good friend. His name is Buu. Aunt Lazily, I came to you this time to talk about it. Go and expression was slightly serious. In a few words, Go and explain Buu's details to Lazily. Buu stood by and showed a rare nervous expression. 
He was afraid that Lazily would not like him and would not let Kynian and Tanlin be friends with him. Kynian and Tanlin also agreed to be nervous, and the two were so nervous that their hands tightly gripped the corners of their clothes. Lazily looked at the nervous appearance of these three people, and felt a little funny. Especially Bu, a big fat man in his early two meters, was so nervous that he played with his gloves. Well, don't be nervous, mom won't stop you from being friends. Lazily rubbed the little heads of Tanlin and Kynian and said softly, Yay, long live mom. Woo woo Tilda. After Lazily nished speaking, the three of them held hands and jumped and jumped happily. But, Goen was still not very relieved. Don't worry, Goen, my husband, your uncle Moyuan has left a lot of life-saving things on. These two children, unless the strength exceeds him, it will not hurt these two children. You, go, on a date with peace of mind. Hearing Lazily's words, Go and was nearly relieved. Uncle Mo Yuan's terrifying strength is that hundreds of Bu are not enough for him to GHT with one hand. Okay, you guys play, I have to go back and continue to do beauty. Saying that, Lazily's body slowly faded and disappeared in place. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 96 Impossible. When pigs why, boom, the realm king god Axin angrily slapped the table and got up and drank. He learns that Majin Bu is not dead. So he comes over and asks Goku to strike again and completely eliminate Buu. As a result, Goku actually told him that Majin Buu was actually not bad, and he promised not to kill again. How could he possibly believe it? The five realm king gods were all killed by Buu until he was the only one left. There were also countless galaxies destroyed by him. If Bibidi hadn't been able to control him and chose to seal him, the entire universe would have been destroyed by him. It's true, I also found that Buu's nature is not bad. Like a child, Goen also began to speak for Bu. Realm King God Asin suddenly remembered something. In the beginning, imagine Bu is very evil and has only a desire to destroy, and after absorbing the great Realm King God, he seemed to have changed as a person. The desire to destroy is worn out, and only greed remains for play. Could it be because of the great Realm King God? As the King God of the Realm, Asin also knows some things. Ten million years ago, the strength of the great Realm King God was very strong. If it weren't for the fact that the monster consumed most of its power, the great realm king god of the demon Bu would have been able to destroy it with a wave of his hand. Although the strength of the great realm king god has decreased, the soul is still very strong. Every time Majin Bu absorbs a person, it will also be absorbed along with the soul. It is very likely that the soul of the great realm king god is too powerful, causing Majin Bu to absorb the great realm king god, but his soul cannot suppress the soul of the great realm king god. That's why his personality has changed dramatically. Because his soul has become dominated by the great realm king god, but he just doesn't have the memory of the great realm king god. If this is the case, doesn't it mean that the current Bu can actually be regarded as a half realm king god? However, even so, there was still the existence of evil Bu in his body. Even if one day, the evil awakening in his body will not know how many disasters it will cause. Don't worry, Ashin, even if Majin Bu is not good, it doesn't matter, there are at least five people on the earth who can destroy Majin Bu. Besides, the place where Majin Bu is now is the safest place in the world. If he dares to mess around, I can guarantee that he will be destroyed in an instant. Goku appeases the Realm King God Asin. Is that person really that powerful? To be honest, he has always been skeptical of the Mo Yuan in Goku's mouth. In his opinion, the existence of a basic powerhouse like Goku on Earth is already an anomaly. You know, most of the strong people in the universe rely on a long lifespan to cultivate powerful power. Just like himself, he has cultivated for millions of years to have these 500 billion combat power. And how long has Goku been cultivating? It has a combat power of several trillions in a few decades, which is already a rare existence in the world. That Mo Yuan is even more outrageous. He was actually a hundred times stronger than Goku. What is this concept? If this is the case, then hasn't he lived to dogs for millions of years? That's right. Goku nodded heavily. Ah Yuan's power is the most terrifying I have ever seen, let alone a hundred me, even a thousand, ten thousand me, he can easily defeat it. Wukong hasn't said that Mo Yuan is breaking through now. And when he niches breaking through, his strength will reach a new level. Otherwise, the realm king god Axin would probably be so shocked that his jaw would drop. Okay, persuasion was fruitless, and the realm king god Ashin was ready to leave. Hopefully, Majin Buu can really stop destroying everywhere as they say. Equals, 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 ha 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 ha. The little girl's silver bell like laughter rotated in the air. Buu, hurry faster. Kinyan sat on Buu's back, and the two were preparing to white to the city to buy snacks to eat. After a few days of treatment, now there is no more Wukong's chi in Buu's body. King Kin, you hold steady, I'm going to accelerate. Buu reminded and then began to accelerate. Buu, the thrill of this speed is much stronger than riding on some roller coaster. Not far away, in the clouds, the realm king god Asin and Jebit looked at Buu quietly. If Buu looks like this, it is indeed different from what he remembers. That's it. The two of them have been quietly watching Buu behind their backs. When they saw Buu accidentally bumped into by someone, 
The two were so nervous that they began to break out in a cold sweat. Majin Buu shouldn't be going to kill people, right? But what followed turned their perceptions upside down. Buu who was hit was knee, but the person was directly thrown to the ground by the meat bullet on Buu's body. I saw Buu step forward, lift the person up from the ground, and apologize to the other party. Realm King Godassin and Jebit were so shocked that their jaws were dragged to the ground. They just pinched this person in a cold sweat in their hearts. Jebit was surprised, Lord Realm King. I also feel that Buu seems to have indeed become better. Let's take another look. In fact, the heart of the Realm King God Axin has been shaken. He just couldn't let go of the hatred of the other Realm King Gods being killed. Alas, King Kin, what are you buying? Kin Yin, who was standing at a roadside stall waiting for the stall owner to make a meal, suddenly heard someone calling her. Look back. Oh. It turned out to be Trunks and Goten. Goten, Trunks, I'm buying tempura. Speaking of tempura, the two little guys, Goten and Trunks suddenly drooled. No child can refuse crispy fried goods. Boss, bring me a piece of assorted tempura. I want one too. The two couldn't wait to start ordering. However, the boss looked apologetic and said, sorry little friend, I have sold all the things here. To this child, huh? The expressions on the faces of the two became very lost visibly. Would you like to come home with me later? My pigeons are roasting meat and I bought a lot of good ones. Because of the proximity of home, they have been visiting the door a lot since they were children, and they have been long been familiar with each other. Okay, but I'll have to call my mom RST. Ah, uh, I'm going to call my mom too. Goten and Trunks agreed without hesitation. Then the two called Bulma and Kiki. Knowing that they were going to Kynian's house, Bulma and Kiki were naturally very relieved and agreed directly without saying anything. Then I'll go buy some ice cream and eat it later. Ice cream? I like ice cream. Can you buy more? An unfamiliar voice sounded, and Trunks and Goten looked at the behemoth that made the sound. Kinkin, he is. Trunks and Gokuten looked at Kinyan inquiringly. Let me introduce you. This is Buu. A good friend of mine. Kinkin patted Buu's big belly like a big sister and introduced them to them. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 97. Goten looked at Buu in surprise. It turns out that you are Buu. Trunks was a little curious. You know him? Yushin nodded and said, Ah, uh, I heard my brother and father say that he is very powerful. And my brother can't beat him. Wow he's so powerful. Can't even beat brother Goen. Hearing that Buu was so powerful, Trunkton looked at Buu with adoration in his eyes. Go, Buu, come with us to buy ice cream. You can buy as much as you want, I'll pay for it today. Trunks tilted his head and proudly slapped his chest on the bang. Buu glanced at Trunks and then at Kynian, then shook his head. No, I want to go with King Kin. Although he really wanted to pick ice cream, Buu still didn't want to let Kynian go here alone and wait for Tempura to be ready. In this way, let's go buy ice cream together, and when we finish shopping, we will come back and get Tempura. Kynian also saw that Buu wanted to go, so he proposed. Is that okay, boss? There. Boss smiled and said, yes. You guys go, it's better for me to finish all this. Great, then let's go together. The four of them set off towards the ice cream parlor. The ice cream parlor was not far from here. They walked ten minutes to get there. Pushing open the door of the ice cream shop, Trunks was very pretentious. Picard, I Trunks, will pay for the whole consumption today. Really? Buu asked with his index and in his eyes. That's natural, my family is the richest man in the world. Don't save me money. Then you're welcome. Then, under Trunks' hoary ed eyes, Buu emptied the entire ice cream parlor, including the other snacks in the store, they have all been emptied. The beautiful Clark lady was very enthusiastic in asking Trunks to pay. For the RSD time, Trunks felt that this little lady who sold ice cream was so abhorrent. Looking at the single digit balance displayed on the phone, Trunks felt a little empty, as if his body was hollowed out. At this moment, the second generation of the world's richest man is bankrupt. For the rest of the journey, Trunks is like a soulless. The Walking Dead. By the time they returned to the Tempura's stall, their Tempura was ready to pack into Universal Capsules. Taking the capsule, Kinyan climbed onto Buu's back under the envious eyes of Trunks and Goten. Let's go, let's go home. Kinyan cheered, and Buu rose directly into the sky. Trunks and Gokuten looked at each other, and then quickly followed behind. Jebit, who had been following not far away, was trying to catch up, but he was stopped by the Realm King God Asin. No need to follow, let's go back. Jebit nodded slightly then disappeared with him in place. Equals, 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 equals. In the manner of the Mebushi family, several children play happily around a large camp re. Buu gave them a show of eating 99 ice creams in one bite. Directly Buu took a large bag of ice cream and threw it forcefully into the sky. Then Kinyin, Tanlin, Trunks, and Yushin hooked their ninjas on Buu's mouth. Pull. With Kinyin's order, the four of them ran away in four directions, like pulling rubber bands. Buu's mouth was directly pulled by them to the size of a trampoline. It's like a little black hole. Ninety-nine ice creams fell from the sky and were taken by Buu in their entirety. Buu puffed out his huge cheeks and chewed the ice cream in his mouth. With a duang sound, 
99 ice creams were swallowed into his stomach. Buu touched his stomach contentedly. Eating so much ice cream at once is so happy Tilda. He now thinks ice cream is the most delicious thing in the world. Never enough to eat. Buu, this time, we challenge to eat barbecue. Ah, uh -huh. Buu nodded frequently. Well, he likes grilled meat too. Soon, a whole new round of challenges began. Challenger, imagine Buu, challenge, eat 200 pieces of roasted meat at once. Kenyan tightened her cute little face and asked seriously. Are you ready? Buu player. Buu nodded, and the expression on his round face was extremely RM. Ready. Very good. Kinyan nodded appreciatively. Ready. As he spoke, Kinyan condensed a Kaigong bomb in his hand, and this Kaigong bomb slowly rose into the air, like a light bulb, emitting light in the air. Everyone stared at this Kaigong bomb. Boom. I saw the Kaigong bomb bloom instantly, turning into gorgeous reworks. Seeing the Kaigong bomb explode, Kinyan immediately threw the large bucket of roast meat in his hand into the air. Then the four of them hooked Buu's mouth again and pulled outward. Soon, Buu's mouth turned into an abyss giant mouth just like just now. Oops, Kinyan suddenly thought of a question. She seemed to have thrown the bucket along with her just now. Sure enough, a few seconds later, a barrel of roasted meat, with a barrel of meat, fell from there. Sky, boom, a loud bang. The whole barrel of roast meat is stuffed directly into Buu's stomach. Kick, a brand new cylinder Buu was born. Buu's special physique is like no bones, and the whole body directly turns into the shape of a barrel. Yay, Buu, are you alright? Kinyin hurriedly ran over. Buu's body squirmed for a while, and then returned to its original appearance. Hiccup tilde, followed by a loud hiccup. With a satisfied face, he said, delicious. There, corners of Kinyin, Tanlin, trunks. And Yushin's mouths twitched slightly. Good, fellow. Even Tong has been digested together. Lazily lay on a chaise long. Enjoy the roast her son made for her, the snacks her daughter bought, and the ice cream trunks bought. Enjoy the meal while watching the bright moon hanging high in the sky. Lazily looked a little stunned. The full moon in the sky was not so round in her eyes. Equals, 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 deep in the universe. Mo Yuan Pan sat in the void. He was surrounded by dense black holes. According to Mo Yuan's observation, he found that the black hole contained a large amount of evil chi, so he deliberately found this special place. There is not a single planet around this place. Some are just black holes, too many black holes to count. Under the traction of the heart's eye, wisps of black gas oted out of the black hole. These black gases surround Mo Yuan. Over time, the black gas became more and more and more and more. Mo Yuan was gradually wrapped into a black cocoon. From a distance, it looks like a miniature black hole. The evil chi was absorbed by Mo Yuan's bloodline little by little. The bottleneck that stuck him for several years is getting weaker and weaker. Mo Yuan was very excited, and after the bloodline absorbed enough evil chi, he would be able to transform into a super third form. At that time, his strength will increase by leaps and bounds. Mo Yuan, who was extremely excited, began to increase his efforts to absorb evil chi. He wanted to strive to complete this cultivation as soon as possible. In addition to wanting to improve his strength, the most important thing is that he misses his family. Thinking about his children, thinking about the person he loves the most. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 98 Buu, 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 who was still eating snacks and watching TV happily for a second, immediately lay down on the sofa and pretended to be dead. As soon as he heard Lazily call him, Buu, didn't hear a response. Lazily walked from the kitchen to the living room with a spatula. I saw Buu on the sofa with his eyes closed. Well, at RST glance, it is pretending to sleep. The closed eyes were so hard that the face was a little distorted. Duang Duang is two big bickers against Buu's head. Soon, two small long buns bulged on both sides of Buu's head. Freshly baked Xia Long Bao even smokes. What to pack? Hurry up and buy me a bottle of soy sauce. Hiss. Buu covered the two scalding dumplings on his head and gasped. It hurts so much. Lazily, how can you tell I'm pretending to sleep? I'm obviously pretending to be so good. Buu was very puzzled. She closed her eyes so hard. How could she still see that she was pretending to sleep? Lazily smiled contemptuously. With your little thoughts, anyone with eyes can see that you are pretending to sleep. Okay, don't talk nonsense. Hurry up and buy soy sauce. Well, Buu was a little frustrated, hung his head, and got up from the couch resignedly. Buu has now settled in their home. When Kinyin and Tanlin didn't have to go to school, Buu played with the two children. When they go to school, Buu becomes a happy fat house, lying on the sofa every day to watch TV, play mobile phones, play games eat snacks. Compared to destroying the planet everywhere before being sealed, killing people everywhere is much happier. If he could, Buu would like to stay at home all his life, living a life where clothes come to eat and open his mouth. It is a pity that people under the eaves have to bow their heads. What's more, the owner of the house still has the combat power to subdue him. Terrible, terrible. Buu was like a kite with a broken line, yeeing shakily in the air. Although he used slowly, he quickly found a supermarket. Wait a minute. Supermarket? Question mark. Buu suddenly remembered that the snacks at home were almost nished, and suddenly came to the spirit. Buy snacks, 
by snacks. Buu smiled and muttered softly, then pushed two shopping carts to start his happy supermarket. Shopping. Biscuits. Dake. Chocolate. Dake. Potato chip. Dake. Everywhere he went, whenever he saw his favorite snack, Buu directly emptied the entire shelf. And the two shopping carts have also begun to build her eyes buildings. Buna's usually not very smart head. At this time, I suddenly had an idea. Like an architect with a lot of experience, he starts by laying a solid foundation at the bottom of the shopping cart. Tall buildings rise from the ground. Soon, under Buu's ingenious operation, the snacks in the shopping cart hit the ceiling. Buu pushed two rickety looking but still standing shopping carts to the checkout. The people around them retreated one after another for fear that these things would fall and hit themselves. Even the people waiting in front of him for payment directly backed away and let Buu Xian. Buu couldn't help but sigh with emotion. There are so many good people. I didn't realize that someone else let him come RST for the safety of his life. Soon, dozens of large bags full of snacks appeared on the ground. Buu paid happily. The money was naturally the pocket money that lazily gave him. The rest of the money comes in dozens of such purchases without stress. Sir, do you need us to send you over? We have free home delivery service. The cashier asked, with a smile, how long will it take to get home? It takes about an hour. Upon hearing this time, Buu decisively shook his head, then don't want it, it's been too long. Then in everyone's shocked expressions, Buu's body began to elongate, and dozens of small hooks grew on his body. Then he hung the bags one by one on these hooks. Before leaving, Buu faintly felt as if he had forgotten to do something important. But I can't remember what happened. After thinking for a while, he decided not to. Went home to watch TV and of snacks. Mew. Happy Buu soon you home. Lazily. I'm back. I even happily said hello to Lazily. Got a snack. Lazily looked at the shopping bag hanging on Buu's body and asked casually. For Buu to buy snacks, Lazily has no problem. She herself likes to eat snacks. Ah, uh -huh. the snacks at home are almost over. I bought some by the way. And your favorite, cucumber avoid potato chips. Buu offered a bag of cucumber avoid potato chips to Lazily. Good. Lazily looked at the potato chips and nodded in satisfaction. Then asked, what about soy sauce? Exclamation mark. I'm most afraid that the air will suddenly be quiet. The smile on Buu's face instantly froze, and even the air around him froze. Buu nearly remembered what the important thing he had forgotten was. Soy sauce. Supermarket happy shopping made him forget the most important thing. It's over. Dead. Buu slowly raised his head and saw that Lazily's eyes had narrowed into a line. Although he couldn't see his eyes, the faint murderous aura was clearly sensed by him. Lazily, I think you should listen to my explanation. I don't want you to think, I want me to feel. Duang! Exclamation mark. Buu's eye mentioned a large freshly baked meat bun, still steaming. Three buns stand on three legs on his head. Aren't you ready to buy it yet? Lazily smiled and looked at Buu, who was rolling on the ground with her head covered, and a few words uttered out of her mouth. Yes, yes, yes. Buu got up from the ground in horror, endured the sharp pain in his head, and nodded at Lazily. Then he quickly went out and you quickly in the direction of the supermarket just now. I bought a bottle of soy sauce as fast as I could and rushed home. Buu handed the soy sauce to Lazily, that... Kinkin and Tanlin are about to end school, but I will pick them up. Then quickly go out. Stay away from this place of right and wrong. Lazary looked at Buu saying back and couldn't help but laugh. Since Buu moved into their house, the house has become a lot more riotous. But it's okay, it's quite lively. Alas I don't know when my husband will come back. It has been more than two months, and the last time Mo Yuan broke through Super 2, it took two months to end. It has been more than two months since this time and there has been no movement. Lazily took the dragon ball out of her collar. Rubbing the dragon ball, he looked at the two villains in the dragon ball in a daze. Fortunately, there are dragon balls, otherwise she would probably be scared. As long as the dragon ball does not turn into stone, it means that Mo Yuan is still knee. The dazzled Lazily did not notice. The space behind her suddenly twisted. A tall girl appeared out of thin air. Embrace her in your arms from behind. Wife and sister, I'm back. Equals, 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 equals. Chapter 99. Wife and sister. I'm back. Mo Yuan's chin rested on Lazily's rounded shoulders. Sniff the faint fragrance on her body. Feel incredibly peaceful inside. Familiar sounds. A familiar embrace. Familiar temperature. Familiar taste. Lazily's delicate body trembled slightly. It's been more than two months, and she hasn't missed a single day during this time. Husband, you're nearly back. I miss you so much. Lazily turned around, and a pair of white arms wrapped around Mo Yuan's waist. The little head burrowed into Mo Yuan's arms greedily breathing the smell of his body that made her obsessed. Me too, miss you very much, every moment, every minute and every second. Mo Yuan hugged lazily, tightly, as if he wanted to rub her into his body. Suddenly, Mo Yuan felt his neck sink. Then his lips were gagged, and a sweet strawberry smell invaded his mouth. Equals, 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 ah. Dad, you're back, Kinkin wants to kill you. Kin Yin, who came home from school, 
was pleasantly surprised when she saw Mo Yuan's familiar gear. The whole person smashed into Mo Yuan's arms like a small cannonball. Caught off guard, Mo Yuan was shaken twice by this huge force. Mo Yuan hugged Kinyin and kissed her on the forehead fondly. Daddy wants to kill you too. Giggle. Kinyin laughed happily. Tan Lin was much calmer, and he hugged Mo Yuan's thigh tightly and did not let go. Mo Yuan couldn't be thick or thin, and bent down slightly to scoop up Tan Lin, holding a child in one hand. Let's go, let's eat. Today dad made you your favorite braised pork. Yay. Kinyin and Tan Lin immediately cheered. By the way, and Bu Mo Yuan noticed the Gyur standing at the door a little overwhelmed. Hearing Mo Yuan mention him, Bu became even more nervous. Before he saw Mo Yuan, he had already heard a lot about Mo Yuan in the mouths of Kinyin and Tan Lin. To sum it up, very strong. It's not easy to mess with. After all, in the mouths of Kinyin and Tan Lin, therefore there is an invincible existence in the world. Whether it was the Monkey King who almost killed him, or this lazily who could easily ravage him. Neither of them was Mo Yuan's enemy. With such a powerful person, where would Bu not be afraid? His backbone was crushed by lazily in the past two months. Now he only has a righteous body, no backbones. Hello. Hello, my name is. My name is Bu. 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 Trotted all the way to Mo Yuan, so nervous that he couldn't say anything. Mo Yuan looked at the familiar and unfamiliar face in front of him, and said with a kind smile, Don't be nervous, lazily has already told me everything about you. In the future, you can live here at ease. Treat this place as your own home, and treat us as your own family. Bu looked at Mo Yuan's face with a warm smile stunnedly, and now there was only one feeling in his heart. He. Is it an angel? Bu suddenly felt that his eyes were a little sour. It was as if liquid was coming out of the eyes. Very strange feeling. It was a feeling he had never seen in all the years he had lived. But. He didn't hate the feeling. Let's go. Let's go eat. Go. Bu. Kinyin beckoned to Bu. Bu lowered his head heavily raised his hand and wiped his tears vigorously. Equals, 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 equals. After eating, Mo Yuan observed Bu's body. After all, now this Bu is not split into fat and thin too Bu, so there is still a part of evil in him. Mo Yuan still wants to solve this problem as soon as possible to prevent accidents. Bu, you relax, don't resist, I'll check your body now. Mo Yuan's ninja touched Bu's forehead and said softly. Bu took a deep breath. Come on, Mo Yuan's chi owed into Bu's body from his ninjas. Bu's body is very special, and the structure is completely different from that of a normal person. Not even bones, or rather, his body has only one kind of cell, and this cell is innately variable and can turn into any cell. It stands to reason that Thin Bu, the evil Bu, should now be imprisoned inside Bu. But Mo Yuan walked all over it and found that there was another person. If this is the case, then it means that Slender Bu was born later. It was after Bu was stimulated. The evil thoughts in his body grew wildly and Nali formed a brand new individual. Or is there actually two souls in his body now? Because Bu became fat Bu after absorbing the Great Realm King God, and the strength of the Great Realm King God Mo Yuan still knows a little. Anyway, it's certainly not Bu who can touch porcelain. A strong person, his soul power will deniedly not be weak. So now this fat Bu's soul may be a brand new soul formed after Bu devoured the soul of their Great Realm King God and Bu's original soul was divided into two separate souls. It turned out that Bu's soul was suppressed by this newborn soul because his soul power was too weak. Mo Yuan also had this idea because after Bu was divided into two, little Bu was eliminated. But fat Bu was still alive. If it is the same soul, it is divided into two parts, evil and good. It will be like the gods and old Vic in the past, one dies, and the other does not live. So, Bu is most likely to be one body and two souls. If this is the case, Mo Yuan may be able to use the old god set of soul splitting techniques, or he may split the evil soul in Bu's body. After having the idea, Mo Yuan was not in a hurry. Okay, it's okay, you go watch TV. Hearing Mo Yuan's words, Bu disappeared as soon as he slipped through the smoke. He's not a patient man. He had endured that for a long time. He now eats snacks, watches TV, and plays games. Equals, 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 equals. 12 p.m. Mo Yuan took a quick bath. I haven't bathed for more than two months, and although I haven't sweated much, I still feel a little awkward in my heart. After taking a bath, Mo Yuan felt that the pores of his whole body were opened, and the whole person relaxed. Wipe her slightly damp hair with a towel. Mo Yuan slowly came out of the bathroom. Doctor, people seem to have a cold. Mo Yuan's eyes straightened. A white-clothed angel was half lying down, a thin white blouse tightly wrapped around his delicate body. His deep career line was clearly visible and under the slightly shorter hum, his cute navel loomed. The white hip-wrapped skirt outlined an amazing arc, and a pair of jade legs covered with white silk were slightly curved and overlapped. Lazily's beautiful face had a faint blush, and her long golden wavy hair shone with a dazzling brilliance. Mo Yuan endured the agitation in his heart and walked to sit down next to Lazily. Reach out and put his hand on her forehead. 40 degrees. You're not cold, it's a hair. Before Mo Yuan nished speaking, 
Lazily was so angry that she threw a pillow and smashed it on his face. He said angrily, you just say that you can't cure it. Mo Yuan said with a straight face. Madame, you need to get an injection for a cold, but your situation is more complicated. I recommend taking your body temperature RST. If the temperature is too high, you need to take a drip. Then as soon as he raised his hand, an enchantment trapped around the entire room. Equals, 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 chapter 100. The morning sun shines through the curtains, lazily shining inside the house. The person on the bed frowned slightly, and found a place without sunlight to get into. Feeling his chest arched, Mo Yuan slowly opened his eyes. A yuffie little golden head came into view. Lazily has a habit of sleeping, falling asleep automatically slides down, and then sleeps against Mo Yuan's chest. Mo Yuan gently stroked Lazily's silky long hair, and smiled very spoiled. Nephrite was warm and fragrant, and Mo Yuan was reluctant to get up. And if you get up now, you will inevitably wake up your lovely wife. Looking at Lazily's slightly tired face, Mo Yuan couldn't bear to wake her up. I have to say, sick is strange. Last night, it was another injection and infusion, and it was tossed until early in the morning to bring the temperature down. Don't ask what liquid you infused, just ask your liquid. Everyone must pay attention to the body. Don't get sick, if it is a lone wolf, you need to take care of your body. After all, if the lone wolf is sick. G, shaking his head. JPG, as for the children, just eat less, it's okay tilde. Equals, 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 equals. On the third pole, Mo Yuan and Lazily Nally got up. I wanted to cook quickly so that the children would not starve. When they came downstairs, they found that they had overtaught themselves. Kin Yin, Tan Lin and Bu Wu sat on the sofa, Bu Wu sat in the middle, and Kin Yin and Tan Lin were half lying and leaning on Bu Wu's soft body. The coffee table was full of takeout boxes, and there was a large pile of unopened takeaways on. The o -O. The three of them watched TV while eating takeout, so unhappy. Mo Yuan and lazily looked at each other and shrugged. Well, it's that they underestimate the children, huh? Mom and Dad. Are you awake? Come and eat. We ordered a lot of good food. Kin Yin saw Mo Yuan and lazily coming down and said excitedly, Oh? What delicious food did we buy? Mo Yuan smiled and took Lazily's hand to another sofa and sat down. King Quin bought a lot of them, including barbecue, fried chicken, burgers, tempura, and a lot of delicious snacks. The three little guys, Bu Wu is young in his heart, opened one by one and placed them in front of them. Mo Yuan also did not hesitate to admire and gave them a thumbs up. Awesome. As for what takeaway is unhealthy, Mo Yuan will not say. With their family's physique, there will be no problem with holding arsenic to show off. Today is the weekend, and Kai Nian and Tan Lin don't have to go to school. The family sat together watching TV after a long absence. After lunch, Mo Yuan called Bu out. He was ready to let Bu try to see if he could split the most primitive evil Bu. Before this, Mo Yuan also told Bu about the consequences of doing so. After the split, his power will drop by at least half. However, the good thing is that he will not be affected by evil Bu in the future. Bu agreed to split without thinking. Bu, I will pass on the exercises to you now. You can try it. Mo Yuan pointed his ninja at Bu Wu's forehead, losing the technique of splitting the soul to him. After receiving the exercises, Bu Wu began to split. The two little guys, Kin Yin and Tan Lin, watched nervously. His eyes did not dare to blink, for fear that something would happen to Bu Wu. Soon, the few pores on the body began to emit steam. A thick aura of evil emanated from these vapors. Beep, beep. Their shrill whistle continued to sound. Ah, Bu Wu hissed in pain. More and more gas was ejected from his body. After a while, a large cloud of grey-blue gas appeared above Bu Wu's head, like a dark cloud. After removing these gases, Bu Wu broke out in sweat and gasped hard. It seems that a lot of strength has been consumed, and the whole person looks extremely weak. Mo Yuan glanced at Bu Wu, and at this time, the power in Bu Wu's body had decayed to 900 billion. Combat power, a little less than half. The two little guys, Kin Yin and Tan Lin, couldn't help but run over and help Bu Wu up. Mo Yuan did not stop it. By this time Bu Wu had completed the split. How does it feel? Bu Wu gasped twice and replied, a little weak, and his strength has been reduced by more than half, but he feels that the whole person is much more relaxed. Mo Yuan nodded slightly. It is not difficult to understand that in the past, Bu Wu's soul had to divide part of its power to suppress another soul, but now there is no need to suppress, and it is naturally easy. Now his body is completely his own. After separating the evil part, the breath on Bu Wu's body seemed to have been pureed, and it no longer had the breath of evil. And the dark clouds that exuded a monstrous evil aura in the air began to contract and gradually solidify. Not long after, a skinny grey Bu Wu appeared in the air. The evil aura soon alarmed Goku and them. Vic and Dandy also watched the live broadcast at the temple. Goku, who has teleportation, appears at once. Hey, Ayuan, you are nearly back. Well, I just came back yesterday. What is the situation now? After a few brief pleasantries, Goku asked, That is the evil part that Bu Wu split from his body, solve him, and there will be no more evil Bu Wu in the future. Goku nodded thoughtfully, 
No wonder, I said why he is so weak. Then Buu in the air is a little panicked now. Although he has been suppressed in Buu's body, he knows clearly what is happening in their outside world. Before he split, the three people present could take him casually. Now his strength is only a little more than half. As for wanting to devour fat Buu, don't think about it. Let's worry about your own life RST. Mo Yuan, lazily, and Wukong didn't take this skinny Buu seriously at all. Chatting to himself, completely ignoring Slim Buu's thoughts. Skinny Buu is so uncomfortable now. Fight and can't GHT, continued to stand in the air and look very dumb. He really wanted to call Mo Yuan and give them a pain. But I don't really want to die. After tangling in the air for a long time, then Buu decided not to sit still anymore. He's going to. A spatial yuktuation ashed. Skinny Buu disappeared into the air. He ran away. Then Buu is evil, but he's not stupid. Knowing that he can't beat it, he won't do this kind of thing. Yay. How did he run away? Goku pointed to the empty sky in surprise. Mo Yuan smiled without care. He can't escape. Then Mo Yuan stretched out his hand and snapped his njas. Actually, you can do it without snapping your njas, but without pretending, who knows if you did it. With a pop, the skinny Buu, who had dead reappeared in front of them. Ah, skinny Buu, like a little girl who had encountered gangsters, sat on the ground and watched them scream in horror. Call it, call it, if you just break your throat, no one will come to save you. I don't know why, Mo Yuan suddenly had such a sentence in his heart. Equals, 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 equals. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.